Hi guys, Will here from Power Driven Diesel. Today, I'm gonna to tell you about fuel injectors, most specifically 12 valve and 24 valve Cummins injectors. This is a 12 valve Cummins injector. They're kind of slender, 14 millimeter threads. This is a 24 valve Cummins injector. They have this great big fat body. They're located under the valve cover so you can't see them, but uh, they're a very important part of making performance and power out of your Dodge Cummins engine. So let's take a closer look at some injectors. This is a factory style VCO nozzle. VCO stands for valve covering orifice. What this means is inside the injector is a moving needle. The bottom of the needle covers the holes or the orifices that come out of the nozzle at a spray pattern. At the end of the injection event, the needle comes down and closes off these orifices, causes a really clean end to the injection event. This is a sack style nozzle. See how it's more teardrop shaped? This is a cutaway of a sack nozzle. See how it's this tiny little cavity in the bottom. This is where the actual orifices feed from or the holes come into this cavity and the needle or the valve closes off the main feed gallery or passage into the tip of the injector. This is more common to a marine style or anything that didn't have quite stri as strict of emission standards. The reason being is when this ends injection, there's still a little volume of retained fuel in the tip. This little volume of fuel uh, evaporates and burns. It causes a little extra emission, but it also cools the nozzle. So it, so it actually has like a longevity effect. It should also be noted that a lot of marine applications use the SAC nozzle where they don't have as strict of emissions requirements. They felt there could be some efficiency gains from a SAC style nozzle versus the VCO nozzle. One of the downsides of the VCO nozzle is when it starts to open, you can see this needle moves up and down to crack open. When it first opens, the needle is mostly blocking the passage way that feeds out of the holes in the tip of the nozzle. Because of that, the start of injection is really weak. Uh, the fuel spray pattern doesn't look very clean. The fuel plume itself is kind of dirty or congested. The SAC style nozzle when it lifts, that fuel feeds that central gallery and you have great fuel flow coming out of all the nozzles. So they have a really crisp start to the injection event. What this causes in the real world is sack injectors tend to idle, they're noisier. They have more injection combustion noise because that injection event starts more rapidly or quicker. There's a higher a detonation or a knock sound to a sack injector. However, when you get in a super high performance application, you run into what we call real estate problems. There's only so much metal in the tip of the nozzle to make these tips large, to have large holes and still make the tip reliable. You can see the VCO nozzle has this great big area to bore holes through to, or EDM holes through for this fuel to come out. The SAC nozzle just has this tiny little metal tip. So generally when we get into a SAC nozzle, we don't like going bigger than a 20 thousandths hole size where in the VCO, we can take these clear up to 28 thousandths hole size. And so when it comes to raw fuel flow, the VCO does flow more than the sack. One reason we can get bigger holes through the tip or orifices. The other reason is after we do modifications so that this needle lifts up a long ways out of the way, there's a large area of fuel that can come down and feed through here. The sack nozzle is limited by this little feed passage that comes into the tip. So this little feed passage you can see is very small versus the VCO that has this monster feed passage around the tip of the nozzle. So when it comes to gross or total flow, the VCO is the winner. Now how does this apply to you in the real world? If you like a quiet idle, go with the VCO. If you hate idle haze, go with the VCO. When you're getting into the big power stuff, go with the VCO. But what about that middle of the road guy, that guy with three, four, five, six hundred horsepower, he tows, he wants maximum efficiency. Generally, those customers are better suited with a SAC injector. So let's go over to the fuel injector test bench and let's pop test a couple injectors. We'll show the, the chatter characteristics between a SAC versus a VCO and the same hole size. And uh, maybe we can play with a little fire too and kind of demonstrate what the fuel pattern or the fuel plumes look like when they come out of that injector nozzle. We're over here at the pop tester and uh, we've got a 5x12 SAC and a 5x12 VCO. Let's pop test these things and see what they, how, how they perform on the pop tester. Okay, we're going to start with the 
sack injector. You can hear that kind of high pitched. That's a very fast chatter that it's doing. Let's see what that looks like with a little fire on it. Okay, don't play with fire, it's dangerous. Okay, and this is the VCO. Here, it sounds different. Big kids like to play with fire too. So in closing, what does this mean for you? If you have a mild truck, maybe up to 500 horsepower, the sack injector is probably the best for you if you can hand that little bit louder idle noise. If you're going for over 500 horsepower, generally the VCO injector is what's best for you. Or if you want the cleanest absolute idle or the lowest idle noise, the VCO is also a good match for you. Thanks guys for watching. We hope you learned something today. Be sure to subscribe to us on uh, YouTube and uh, follow us on social media, Facebook and Instagram. Thanks.